Hey everybody, I got another interview here about election integrity here at the Mike Lindell Summit. With me is Damon Devro. Yes, you sir. got you got a Cajun name, but you're not from you're not from Cajun country. I'm not from Cajun country, but I sure like the, the food that comes from it. I love it. But love you're it. you're the sheriff in Oklahoma, yeah, right? Yeah, one of the sheriffs in Oklahoma. There's 77 of us. Oh, 77. 77. That sounds like a lot of sheriffs. A lot of sheriffs, a lot of, uh, yes, a lot of sheriffs. So there's 77 counties? 77 counties in Oklahoma. So you'll break up in counties. See, Louisiana, Correct. where the Devro name comes from, uh -huh. we've got parishes down there. Yes, the parishes. Love it. So what county are you? Logan County. I'm considered part of the metro. I am straight north of Oklahoma County, where Oklahoma City is located. So people here know you well, but the people who are watching the video might know you well. What are you most known for? What got you involved with election integrity? Well, I think... In my county, I mean, I'm known, I'm born and raised there, high school graduate there, served 23 years with the Guthrie Police Department, got out of law enforcement, felt called back into it, sheriff deal come up, I ran, uh, lo and behold, I became the sheriff. Um, I think I'm, I'm known for taking care of the people, uh, you know, being a constitutional sheriff that truly is here to represent the people, protect the people from federal overreach and what else we got to do to keep our freedoms intact. Right. So, what were you involved in with election integrity? Well, or, what, or what problems did you see? Yeah, you know, I mean, in in our county, our county's forty nine thousand five hundred fifty five people. I work very closely with our election board through our elections. Uh, when the election integrity deal started being floated around, you know that our election was stolen. Um, I started our I started asking our secretary of our elections, you know, a lot of questions, and. And at this point in time, I have been unable to, to, to prove fraud in our county. Right. But, but after coming to this summit, I've got a lot more questions. Well, what's interesting is Oklahoma is a red state. Absolutely. Solid red state. Solid, yep. Every Trump, county. Trump, Trump 16, Trump 2020. Every yeah, it, county in the state. Exactly. However, I find a lot of people here from Oklahoma that want to make sure that your elections are still secure. Absolutely. So it's, it's, so it's not really a... You just because you want Trump back in office thing, it's because you want the future elections to stay sure. secure. Well, the thing is, I mean, we, you know, and and you look at at a lot of people, they're starting to wake up and realize that the uh, you know our greatest privilege is to be able to cast that ballot and make sure that that ballot counts and who's going to be at the head of our country, our school boards, the sheriff, mm -hmm. and and it's important that there's no outside interference. And I think that's the main deal. That's why I'm here is 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 learning, listen to all these people that have discovered fraud and why nobody's doing anything about it. Right. Uh, you know, like we spoke, I think it's one of those things where it's it's so big that everybody's just kind of going, I don't know what to do with this, so yeah. we'll just go on. It's easy it's easier to say that they don't want to believe that they're lied to. Sure. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I wasn't lied to bliss. My election was secure. Well, and, 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 and I hope my first one was the second time I ran, I ran unopposed, so nobody got to cast a ballot for me. It still cost me $300, and, and I've tried to figure out why i got to pay for something that they only have to put ink on the ballot for my name. Right. But, but that's a different it's story. It's a different story, right. Uh, but I think, you know, the biggest thing is, 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 is us as Americans, it's our job to keep current on our registrations. Mm -hmm. You know, if we move, make sure we notify the election board, submit the proper paperwork to show where our new addresses are, should people come into our state. And forwarding your mail is important, but making sure your registration is current in that state of Oklahoma or state of Texas is priority now more than ever. Yeah, you know, a lot of the problem, I think a lot of the problem with our elections are that people are our voting rolls are so outdated. Sure. So many old registrations, they don't get updated, and as a result, they just got more and more bad information. And sure. When, and look, just like your personal computer, when you got a lot of a lot of, a lot of uh, information on there that's not relevant anymore, it slows your computer down and oh, causes yeah. other problems. Sure. Well, I can tell you, until I became an, an elected official, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I. You know, when I voted, there's a lot of times I look at the ballot and go, I don't know who half these people are. Well, I've tried to convince my staff now that I'm elected, and I, I truly understand the importance of our, our system, is I always get a sample ballot. I take them home to my wife, to my son, this 21 that votes, and say, if you don't know this name, that name, research it. Don't willy-nilly go down and cast it straight party. I think straight party voting is a 
as far as I think, you know, it should be the person, because I know a lot of Republicans that are voting against us. Right. And I'd rather have the Democrat because I know how he's going to vote. Exactly right. You know? So you do, there's another thing you note about, too, um, uh, when it comes to the uh, mandated uh, or mandates, Vaccines. you know, uh, oh, well, yeah. you know, the, the, the things that alter your bloodstream or something like sure, that. Sure, sure. So what, what were you known for with that? Well, I, uh, when they, you know, President President Biden put out the executive order that if you have employees, 100 or more, you're going to have, you know, the mandates on the vaccines. Well, I think that as free people, we have a decision of what we're going to put in our bodies. And so I put it out to my staff, to to the world, basically saying that I am not going to mandate a vaccine. The president of the United States is not going to make me mandate a vaccine. And on our Facebook post, our Facebook page, the last time I looked at it, it had hit almost 9 million people had hundreds of thousands of interactions. I, I had a few death threats. One guy told me that he, he hopes I die a slow COVID death on the couch <laughs> alone. alone. And, and I was like, you know, God willing, if that's alone. A, Exclamation point. Yeah, it's like, underline, you know, underline. If, if that's what the Lord wants of me, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, right. Uh, but I still, and I've got guys on my department that are vaccinated, and I got guys that aren't vaccinated. You know, it's that person's decision, nobody else's. Right. And, you know, God bless them. If they want to get it, go get it. If you don't, don't. Yeah. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. Exactly. But don't make me. But if you vote, let's make sure it's right. It's got to be right. I love it. Always right. I love it. Damon, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, I really bet, appreciate man. it. Is there anything else we're forgetting before we, go, we head no, out? No, man. I think we've, we, we've uh, hit all the topics. You know, great summit down here. A lot of good information. A lot of scary information. A lot of eye-opening things that... Uh, if we don't get a grip on it pretty quick, we're going to lose our country. What's the biggest thing you, I'm asking another question or I'm trying to close out, sure. I know, but what's the biggest thing you learned in here? Just the amount of election fraud, the, 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 the it's, it, I didn't know that, I truly didn't know that it was this bad. In a lot of these states, the swing states, you know, they're the ones that's most concerning because, I mean, if, if, you know, my votes in Oklahoma are seven electoral votes really don't matter right. to the hell of beans in the, the scheme of what Michigan, Pennsylvania, some of those states can do, they win our election for us. Exactly. And, and they better be right. That's right. I guess I've learned the same thing, how bad how bad our elections are. It's, I knew it was bad. I thought it was only, you know, those five, yep, five key states. But when you hear all the things, all, all the irregularities states. that went on all the 50 states, it's bad everywhere. It's bad. It's bad. You know, it's scary bad. It's scary bad. We got to do something about, like I said, to save our country. You're dang right. Go all Oklahoma. All this together. Boomer Center. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. We got another interview coming up.